Do you think wearing your braids this long is healthy for your hair and scalp? Let's talk about it. This is my niece, Sierra, AKA the blonde bombshell. She told me she wanted to grow out her blonde hair and that she was gonna get her hair braided for several months to help her throughout that process. So I saw her on Instagram and she got her faux locks and she looked like this. I thought she looked gorgeous, but then she came to my house and this is what I saw. I had no idea that she had this much hair attached to her head. Not only is it long like past her butt, but it is so much hair. It is so heavy. She told me that her hair was so heavy that her back, her neck, and her shoulders were hurting. And you know, I thought, OMG, what is that doing to the hair follicle? So you know when she told me that her shoulders were hurting from all of the hair, I immediately told her to take them out. And I want to show you, this is how much hair she had in her head. Can you all see this? This is a ton of hair all attached to her hair follicle. So. Let's see how much this hair actually weighs. All right, so this is all of the hair that was in her head. Can you see how much hair this is? Yes, she did keep it for me because I wanted to know exactly how much weight, added weight, was on her hair follicle. So let's see, here's my weight scale. This basket weighs one pound by itself, so, Let's see, 3.2 pounds. So that means, hold on, let's not forget that. Okay, 3.3 pounds. So we'll take away that pound for the basket. She was actually carrying 2.3 pounds, over two pounds of added hair. What do you think that is gonna do to the hair follicle over time? So I want to give you a little perspective around what two pounds actually looks like. So I'm going to use these apples as an example, how much do you think these weigh? All right, let's see how much six apples weigh. Oop, that didn't work. 2.4 pounds. That is almost exactly what those blonde extensions weigh as well. Can you imagine an apple hanging from your hair strand? But not just one, six apples. I can't even lift up all six. Six apples over two pounds of hair hanging from your very fragile hair follicle. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what leads to traction alopecia. That is what leads to hair loss. And that is what I really, really want you to avoid. Now, this particular style that my niece wore, not only was it heavy on her hair follicle, but can you see how short her hair is? She only had about an inch, inch and a half, inch and a half of hair to begin with anyway. So she didn't even have a lot of hair, natural hair to anchor down the weave or the extensions, which creates even more tension on the hair fall. So in a nutshell, I'm not saying that you cannot wear braids and other protective styles with extensions. But what I am telling you is to be mindful of how much hair you are attaching to your very fragile hair follicle. Because too much hair, the weight of the hair, may lead to hair loss. So ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to be mindful of certain hairstyles. If you do get hairstyles like this, wear them in moderation. Do not wear them all the time. And if a hairstyle with braids, if your neck hurts, if your shoulders hurt, then it's a high probability that this hairstyle is not a great protective hairstyle for you because if it's causing your body pain, then it is definitely causing damage to your hair follicle. So I hope you are able to pick up some tips on the importance of being mindful of wearing certain types of protective hairstyles to protect your hair from damage. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss a video. And until we talk again, stay fabulous.